Kai Soto had a career best performance. Nice. 16 points, five rebounds, two blocks. It was a pretty impressive performance, in particular against a tough opponent. We know he has huge potential. Gazy, could he be off to the NBA at the end of this NBL season? Well, I don't know about the end of this season, but if you look where he was last season to where he has now, the improvements that he is making, the, the play around the rim, the way in which he runs the floor, the, the working in the on balls, there you see it. The minutes have gone up a little bit, the points as such, and uh, the rebounding is the big one. And the thing that's holding him back, anytime he's seven foot three or whatever he is, you're going to get a look in. Mm -hmm. And he's got the skill sets, the, the, the glaring weakness in his game right now is how he defends. The, the, the game is based around on ball, you know, pick and rolls. And when he's in there, either in a drop situation or, or he's switching on to smaller guys, or even just in an isolated one-on-one -on -one situation, his ability to slide his feet and keep people in front of him, that's the thing that I think is going to hold him back. But if he can improve on that area, then that size and with his passing, good basketball IQ, He's going to get a look in. Yep. He's 20. He is so popular, Kane. Just talk to us about the buzz that there is in the Philippines. Yeah, he's insanely popular. They are desperate for him to get there. They're furious at CJ Bruton when he doesn't play him 30 minutes a night. <laughs> and CJ Bruton talks about it. I remember talking to them in preseason in Darwin and CJ said, yeah, look, I don't check social media too often <laughs> because I don't think I'm too popular with the Kai Soto fans. But you understand why. Uh, certainly the, the Aussies can be parochial about their players as well. And they want to see him get there. As Gazy said, I think he's taken strides this year and certainly he even acknowledges himself the defensive stuff is what needs to improve but let's face it when you're seven foot three and you're trying to stop all these little guys getting to the paint yeah, it's challenging it's tough, yeah. copes if you're advising or mentoring someone like kai soda what are you saying to him in order to make that next step i just think he needs more time i mean i was a bit worried at first when they started him in front, in front of dj, DJ. I mean, but now he's starting to play starting to find his own feet he's shooting the ball well he's getting to the glass he's blocking shots so he has the tools he just needs time. And he's he running the floor he's really well for a big time. guy. Yeah. He, he's, he's good in the offensive and defensive transition. He gets back there, but then he's got to learn to sit down, slide his feet. And, you know, I think for him that's finally playing some small minutes now, so know how to use fouls as well. Yeah. So, so you don't get exposed as, right. as much. But right now, a lot of teams are picking on him.